Okay, so some, yeah. uh, I know many of you have heard this, so I'll try to keep very, very short. Um, so I got kidney failure, uh, and then uh, as a result of addiction, kidney failure, I had food addiction, other addictions, and um, then the kidney failure, then I had, they, I think it was a mystical thing, they found out that my immune levels were very high and they suspected it was either autoimmunity or an infection, but they weren't able to trace what it is, my immune system was very, very high, uh, kidneys collapsed very rapidly, uh, being savaged, and, uh, and then I had asthma, uh, walking, and, and you know, and the mystical experience is I got to meet Dr. Hawkins and he'd had about 23 illnesses and through using, essentially using spiritual means, all, he, all his illnesses left him. He ran an attitudinal he healing centre in the States um, where people with grave illnesses came, cancer, AIDS, uh, and they all recovered doing, uh, 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 doing uh, you know, the basis, of, you know, the basis of it would be the Course in Miracles. Anyway, that's a long story short. And mystically, I was, uh, I was meant to meet him, and applying the spiritual uh, principles, um, you know, all the, um, you know, for today, all those illnesses have gone. Uh, so, uh, cancelling beliefs, you know. So, now, I'm not, I'm not anti uh, you know, the course talks about magic. I'm not anti-magic, but I, I believe in using, magic is like using hospital means and using pills and potions. And I think in most courses, I would agree with them, like you can use what's available in the world, like doctors and what, what not, but also do the spiritual stuff at the same time. Uh, so there's immense power in cancelling your beliefs. And also, cancel, and also praying forgiveness for the one in you who's done things. So, so like I, I cancel my belief in kidney failure. I'm an infinite being. I cancel my belief in um, allergies. I'm an infinite being. Um, if you are, if you, I mean, I am a hypnotherapist. Uh, and if you look and research into hypnotherapy, you'll see that the immense power of beliefs. You know, if you hold a belief. You can install a belief in someone and they'll have an allergic response to something or just take out the belief and they won't have it. So the allergy is not from the substance, the allergy is the belief system, uh, the belief that creates it. Um, you know, so what you, what I, and this is, take what you want, leave the rest, you know, you don't have to agree with anything I say, but uh, I found um, as the beliefs, as I kept cancelling the beliefs and done the general work, because I have to let go of my guilt and my karma as well. So cancelling beliefs is one layer. Um, also praying, you know, the belief systems tend to indicate the level of guilt that's being held. So severe illnesses, life-threatening Ill illnesses will mean that there's extreme guilt also held in consciousness. Uh, also the illnesses tend to have a meaning behind them. Um, like I got to meet Do Dr. Hawkins, who'd let go of uh, 23 illnesses, and he had one of the one of his illnesses was the same as mine. I had gout, he had gout. You know, you just can't, I cancel my belief in gout. I'm an infinite being, subject. And, you know, you can, you, everything the doctors say, you just cancel it. Like in gout, you have high uric acid levels. I cancel my belief in high uric acid levels. I cancel my belief in gout. So you just cancel because these are all belief systems from the collective. They're not real. You can just cancel them. And, but also, you know, what is gout? What is the guilt? Well, the guilt, he'd already worked on that. He'd found that out. So the guilt was, um, I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who inflicted pain on others in this lifetime and past lifetimes. So if I inflict pain on others in this lifetime, and others, you know, I'm probably likely that level of guilt is likely to pick up a belief system involving pain. You know, gout's very painful. So, so I, I cancelled the belief and I prayed for forgiveness for the one in me who inflicted pain on others. Asthma, asthma is like suffocation. You know, I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who suffocated others through my actions in this lifetime and past lifetimes. Uh, or, you know, kidney failure is like extreme exhaustion to the extent of death and, and loss and despair. So, you know, I pray for forgiveness for one who's inflicted, uh, who's, who's vampired out other people's energy until they've died. You know, so, 
So you can almost, I can, it's very easy for me now to see uh, symbolically what an illness is doing to me, but just by the symptoms. I mean, whatever the symptoms are, I've probably inflicted on another person. And what is, the, what, is, what is the manifestation? I can cancel my belief. Like kidney failure is the manifestation of the belief I'm using to, uh, to, off, to undo the guilt and that which I've inflicted on others. So just doing the Course of Miracles, you'd automatically do that anyway, because kidney failure is meaningless. My thoughts about kidney failure are meaningless. I pray for a miracle to see kidney failure differently. Instead of kidney failure, I can see peace. Um, like, you know, God did not create kidney failure, it's not real. So you'd be doing those lessons on a daily basis and clearing all the, the limited data that's showing up from the ego. What I found was when I, it took me uh, between three and five years to clear my illnesses, a lot of work. It wasn't like a, a one minute job. But you know, th it says in the course, you know, to break down a belief does require work because it's very strong. You're not going to do it on, in one day. Especially chronic illnesses take a lot of work to undo. Uh, and also, you wanna, I, also, I felt out the symptoms through an exercise called Feel the Feelings, which we do here. And I cancelled the beliefs. And I found that the flare-ups of the symptoms became less and less frequent as I, I felt the feelings and cancelled the beliefs. And then at a certain point, it felt like I didn't have those symptoms, or they were almost gone. And more or less at the same time that the flare-ups became less intense and the symptoms became less intense, more or less I was, it was like I was feeling out my asthma attacks. And then eventually, you know, they discharged me from the asthma clinic and I had normal breathing. And I would feel out my gout attacks. I'd just sit with the pain until it was gone. And then I'd cancel my belief in gout. And then uh, they discharged me from the rheumatology clinic. And then, you know, I was cancelling the kidney failure. And, and, then the, um, and then I got a transplant. So, you know, the miracles happened. When it, when it went in here, the miracle happened out there. That was my experience. So, um, I, so you can, taking what the doctors do, or I mean, I do take what the doctors, you know. I had um, another miracle, uh, this is true. I have documentation for this, so I can prove it, you know, for those skeptics in the room. So after my transplant, they gave me 13 medication, you know, huge carrier bags full of medication for, and, uh, Within t about two years, I was down to one medication. And the doctor said he, he knows of no one else in the hospital who takes less medication than me. I was just cancelling my belief in side effects and popping the pills in. And then they took the medication off one by one until I got probably down to the lowest medication for anyone. So th I don't ascribe power to the outside world. These are all be projected belief systems which I can cancel. Uh, I do take the pills but I'm cancelling my belief. The power is in my connection to God, that's where the infinite power. But I do take magical means because I'm, I'm not yet Buddha. So I do benefit. If I believe a pill will help me, it will help me. But eventually, God can do everything a pill can do. And God can perform miracles. But while I'm not connected to God, I can still use the things in the world because I'm not yet at that level of power. I don't know if that made sense. I'm not anti. I'm not anti the means that are available in the world until I don't need them. 